And this car is also my daily driver. It is also heavily modified. So honestly, it's nothing too crazy, but I have owned this car for about two years now. So we've got intakes, we've got injectors, we've got a little strut brace up front. We've got uh, aftermarket suspension. So this car definitely is uh, a lot different than when it started. Now I will say, I love these modifications and it makes the car what it is and really differentiates itself from what this car was when I bought it. With all these modifications done to my car, there does come some annoyances for sure. I've owned this car for a little over two years now and with that, there's been a lot of things I've learned, a lot of things I've done to it, but with owning it for that long, there's some things I really love about it and things that I really hate about it. When I first bought this car, it was bone stuck. Nothing done to it, literally untouched until my dumb ass. Which is what you want in a car, I think. I think the less modified stuff on it, the better. You kind of get to do everything yourself. One of the first things I did to it was an exhaust. It wasn't that bad. I just got a simple little axle back and it was something simple. I quickly did kind of rice this car out and ruin it a little bit. I, I straight piped it. I kind of made it quite difficult uh, to live with on day to day. It's extremely loud and kind of just super droney. Could barely even have a conversation in the car. We are currently running a different exhaust that is not near as loud as that one, but it's definitely still pretty loud as you can possibly hear it. And I think it's definitely a lot better overall. The exhaust isn't as bad as it used to be, but I will say it does have this really intense drone sometimes that I don't appreciate, but you know, I make this my race car. This is my car. So, you know, it's gonna have some quirks to it that aren't the funnest, but that's just part of modifying it. We're gonna go to power. So this car's pretty fun stock. You know, it makes about 280-ish wheel horsepower when stock. I've done a lot to this, like you heard. I'm making about 341 wheel horsepower now. So day to day, it's fun as hell to put my foot down in this thing. I love just at any time dropping a gear and I'm I'm going. It's fuck. It's so much fun. And every time I get in it, I can always just have some fun in it. Just going on my way to work real quick, whatever it may be. Downside, the tune kind of can be frustrating as well. Gas, I spend a ton on gas. This thing is 295. I get about 115 miles on a full tank, so I'm filling up twice a week at least most of the time. Uh, filling up your daily twice a week is definitely not ideal, but I ain't got the money for another car, so this is the everything car. One thing I really absolutely love about daily driving this car that you know I heavily modify, I try to make look nice and stuff, is I get to drive it everywhere, and when I do drive it everywhere, other people see it, other car people see it. And when other car people see it, it's satisfying to you know get those compliments, get other people looking at it and stuff. That's such a fun thing that when you don't daily drive a car that you modify and stuff, you kind of miss out on. I absolutely hate when I'm driving like my girlfriend's car or something, and I'm not in this beautiful thing right here, and I see another person's car, and I'm just like, damn it, if only they knew what I had. That's why it's nice to daily drive it, that's why I get to see it a lot of the time, what other people are thinking of it. It gets a lot of miles, which, yeah, that kind of sucks, okay, but it gets to be seen a lot more. And in the end, you know, I do I do the modifications on this car for me, but it's satisfying to get someone that gives you a little thumbs up, a little head nod, you know, it's nice. And as we literally speak, it just got a compliment right there from that Cadillac. It's just, it's things exactly like that, man. It, it puts a smile on your face, getting, getting compliments. So, daily driving it, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Moving on again though to another annoyance. Um, we are gonna take a look at how absolutely dumped this thing is right now. I make this car look as good as possible. I don't think about daily when doing modifications most of the time, which is obviously why it is as low as it is. I've really spent a lot of time dialing in the fitment on this car and I do it purely for making it look good and feel good. I do not think about daily driving when it comes to that because it looks beautiful, I think. And with being that low, obviously, I am dragging a lot. That exhaust hits every single day I drive this thing, really. It, it is definitely something to have to worry about. Every time I go out, I see a pothole, I see a big dip in the ground. You know, I clench and pray to God that I'm not gonna lose a coil uh, through the fender or something, or have my exhaust dragging on the damn ground or something, which has just about happened before, I'll be honest. That's probably one of the big main things. When you're daily driving on a static suspension and you're that low, 
you know, you, you gotta expect things are gonna go wrong, which I do, but it still is gonna get annoying. It still is something frustrating sometimes when I'm on a really shitty road and I gotta sit here white knuckling, avoiding every little crack and bump in the road. Cause if I don't, who the hell knows what's gonna happen under the car. Another thing, obviously you wanna keep your car looking pristine. I want this thing to have absolutely nothing wrong with it, especially on the exterior. I want it to be looking pretty. So what do I do? I don't park next to other idiots who can door ding and scratch my car. So we get a lot of this parking as far as absolutely possible. Just another thing though, I'm never parking close in the store. I'm always parking as far as humanly possible to never risk someone else's dumbass parking next to my car. It's annoying, but I love the car more than extra minute walk that's hot outside. My girlfriend does not appreciate that one. So yeah, in the end, I love this car. Daily driving it. Yeah, for sure. There's some things that are annoying, you know. I wish, I do wish at times I did have another car to kind of at least occasionally give this thing a break because it can get frustrating at times. But overall, I'll daily this thing till the day I die. I love it so much and there's nothing, there's nothing more I could really ask for in the end. Really hope y'all enjoyed though. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. I've got a ton of other videos on the channel if y'all wanna check them out. We've got new stuff coming soon. I'm actually getting new tail lights, so I'll show an install video of that. But yeah, appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe, like everything. Thank you, I love you, bye.